Hey there. Today I'd like to answer a very interesting question that was sent to me. It's actually a question which I've already spent many years contemplating before settling on the conclusion which I'm about to share with you today. The question is about the elements of earth, air, fire and water. And the question is, why do different traditions differ in the order they give of the elements and which one is correct? If we look at this, we can see that the variation in the order of manifestation of the elements actually is between east and west. The western traditions use the following order. Fire, air, water, earth. And they've based the order of the elements on the behaviour of matter depending on its temperature. So the most dense of the elements is earth and this corresponds to the solid state of matter which if heated becomes liquid which of course corresponds to the the water element. As the molecules become further apart they can flow over each other and this causes a different form of manifestation. If we further heat the matter then it will become gaseous which of course would be the air element. The molecules can now move very freely. If we fully broke up that matter it would become pure energy which would correspond with fire. The Eastern traditions have a different order. They give air, fire, water, earth. So we can see the top two elements are reversed. This is based on the order that they have observed in life, or in a fire. So we look at a candle, we can see that the wax is solid. It then becomes melted. We can then see there's a flame and that smoke, the air element, is on top. If you contemplate and look at the process of life in animals, you'll see it's the same. We are, in fact, a living combustion process with food as our fuel and our digestive system as our fire. The elements are the essences that underpin the whole of existence, manifesting all objects and causing all phenomena. It necessarily follows that there must be different ways of looking at them and different orders depending on what your focus is. To me, it's no surprise that the order of the elements in the outwards focusing Western tradition, which seeks to interact with external energies, manifest goodness and explore other realms, is based on the natural order of matter itself. Whereas the yogi, looking within himself and going through that journey, would sense clairvoyantly the elements involved in life. I've concluded that the elements need to be in a different order for a process to be happening. The order given by the Hermeticists is a state of stability. Life is when those top two elements are inverted and the process of life, the combustion, is them going back. When the fire is over or when life ends, the elements
go back to a state of rest? So the answer is, both traditions are correct, depending on what you're looking at. I hope this video has been of use to anyone who wants to explore the mystery of the elements more deeply, and anyone who is wanting to unify the Eastern and Western traditions. There are other orders for the elements, and if you find a tradition that lists them differently, look at their point of focus, and this may reveal the mystery to you. My name's Martin Fox, and until next time, let's let every word, thought, and action count.